Joining us for primetime local news is Josh Ramsey, the frontman of Mariana's Trench, who has released his first solo album called The Josh Ramsey Show. And this was just released on Friday the 8th. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. No, thank you. We're really glad to be able to have you on here because I was saying even before, I'm sure we have so many fans of your work here in the Border City and are so excited now that they are able to finally listen to this album. So how has support and response been so far since the release? You know what? It's been really great. Um, I was, I'll admit, I was really nervous because, you know, I think what I've done here was, was quite a risk because it, because it, every track is a different genre. I realized sort of that that means that there's not really like a unified sound to the record. And I know that I was worried that that might alienate some people. Um, but instead, I, I think the response has been like overwhelmingly uh, great, which is which is amazing. I'm so grateful. But, you know, I, I really just set out to do to do something that was not a Mariana's Trench record um, because it was the quarantine. We couldn't see each other and I still wanted to be creative. And, you know, I'd always planned on doing an album where I played all the instruments myself. And then sort of the pandemic and the quarantine sort of just provided uh, the perfect opportunity for me to do that. Um, and, you know, one interesting thing is like with the, the last Mariana's Trench album, which is called Phantoms, um, there was like a really heavy, heavy deadline on that album. Like it was like the most intense deadline I've ever had. And I didn't think I was going to be able to make it. So I... I'm still really proud of that album, but I feel like uh, I feel like it was missing about three tracks. Like I felt I, I wanted it to have uh, like a few more songs, but there just simply wasn't the time. Whereas when I did this, because the whole world was shut down for that two year period um, and all of us working in showbiz had nothing to do, basically. Um, I had no deadlines. I had no deadlines at all. So this album is, is the result of what I could do if I just locked myself in a room for a year and just and just got nuts. <laughs> And can we talk a little bit about with this album, you know, since you had like so much time to be able to work on it and all that too, which is great to hear, you know, I didn't have to hustle for a deadline. You almost could like yeah. kind of dig deep and everything, but can we talk about what's involved in this album, including like collaborators, everyone you worked with? Yeah. Um, so um, I did have a lot of great guest vocalists and that was another great thing because of the pandemic is everyone was available. <laughs> um, almost everyone. There, was, there were only two people that I asked who were unavailable because they were busy working on their own projects, which is totally understandable. Um, but for the most part, everyone was uh, available and good to go. Um, so I really sort of just set out to being like, okay, I'm gonna write a song in this style. I'm gonna write a song in this style. I'm gonna do something in this genre. And most of the time, I'd say about 90% of them, I was like, okay, so I'm gonna write, I'm, I'm working on this like 70s rock song I really hope that, I wonder if Chad Kruger would say yes to this. And in my head, I started picturing his voice. So I like wrote that melody for him. And like, I did that for most of the people on this record. I was picturing those singers and, and knew that I would be sending it to them. And I also didn't send any like rough demos to anyone. I sent like fully produced finished songs because I wanted um, them to be framed in their best light to try and uh, pitch people on, on joining it. But uh, yeah, I was really fortunate. I'm, I was really honored to sing with so many great, singers and um one of the most exciting things was like i had been living with the songs for a while um and with the current version having been just me singing everything and then when i started getting vocals sent in to me from other people because i didn't really produce anyone on the spot like they none of them need that so um they just they just did vocals on their own and sent it over with the exception of uh a couple people where it did work out that we could be there at the same time but most people did stuff remotely and sent it in and that was like the most exciting thing it was like a it was like a kid on Christmas every time I got someone's new vocal because I would put their voice into the song and hear the song totally change and come to a new life because it's like hearing hearing a great singer do their own interpretation that I wouldn't have never thought of and wouldn't have done it that way and um, that was just such a cool um, it was such a cool gift on each track just like hearing all these different singers interpretations. And I know you were already a little speaking about the pandemic and quarantine and whatnot but was there something else that really inspired you to write this album? Um, yeah, there was a few things. Um, there were a few, there were a few direct things that I wanted to talk about specifically, like, um, right at the beginning of the pandemic, right before everything shut down, my wife and I got married and that was something that was obviously very important to me. And I wanted to definitely address that. Um, I lost both my parents and during the quarantine, sort of about six months apart from each other. And I wanted to make sure to have a track for each of them, but 
I didn't want this out. I mean, look, it's been a tough two years for everybody, right? And I, I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do any sad songs on this album. There's no sad songs. I didn't want to do any songs about grief or loss or laments or any of that. I wanted it, I wanted it to be a really uplifting listen. So in addressing something like losing your parents, um, I, rather than have those songs be about grief, they're really about celebrating them as people and remembering them and they're very full of love. And I put a lot of thought into, into those songs. Um, like my mom, my mom was like a, quite a magical lady and she had been a professional singer sort of in the late 60s and through the 70s in Leonard Cohen's band. And she used to hang out with like, you know, uh, Simon and Garfunkel and, and Bob Dylan and all these guys. So I wanted to write her a song that sort of felt like that era. So I wrote her like a, a very Beatles-y inspired uh, sort of magical, uh, almost Disneyland sounding song called uh, Spellbound. And that one I did bring in some collaborators in the form of um, some symphony players. Um, and then the song for my dad, um, I, you know, I learned so much about arrangement um, and music in general from my dad. So I wanted to write him an entire symphony orchestra and just kind of like show off all the things I could do because I learned it from him. And, and um, that was actually the most, probably the most difficult thing I've ever recorded because I'll tell you right now, if you write yourself a full symphony orchestra and you try and record it during a pandemic when everyone has to be socially distant, it's very difficult. <laughs> so I thought I was going to have to just do it using sample libraries and, and have it be all fake. And then I eventually realized that I could do it as long as I only brought in like five or six people at a time. So I recorded the orchestra like in tiny little groups um, and it took it took a couple of weeks to put it all together. Um, and then it took a really long time to edit it and make it actually sound like a 150 person orchestra playing together. Cause it was actually, you know, only five people at a time. Um, so it was very time consuming to work on, but it was really rewarding uh, hearing the finished product for sure. No, that's really great to hear. I'm glad we were able to speak on this and everything like that. So hopefully everybody watching this will go and check out your new album. But once again, thank you so much for joining us today, Josh. Thanks for having me. It's been quite a pleasure. Thank you.